Hello there. When I did my recent video talking about uh, cricket with Vijay Merchant, my friend Kaushik suggested that I should uh, uh, reflect on test match specials by Christopher Martin Jenkins and Henry Blofeld. Unfortunately, I uh, didn't listen to them growing up, so uh, I will instead talk about uh, another extremely memorable series uh, uh, that really got me into cricket. I think this was 1983 India tour of West Indies um, when I started listening to cricket a lot more frequently and I really got into it. Um, India played five test matches in that series uh, and lost eventually, they lost 2-0. But um, my abiding memory from that series was uh, the commentary of uh, Dicky Ratnagar and Tony Kozier. Now Dicky Ratnagar, that name has stuck with me for a long time. Uh, I haven't heard a lot of him but uh, he, interesting character because he is uh, he was a Parsi from Bombay who had moved to the UK and was more of a print journalist I believe. He did a lot of radio commentary as well but uh, I think he did more of print. He used to write for the Daily Telegraph uh, and covered cricket, badminton and squash and he also wrote as Dilip Rao uh, for another newspaper in the UK. I really enjoyed listening to his commentary compared to Tony Cozier in those days. Uh, maybe because uh, I, my ears weren't tuned to listening to a Western accent. I struggled a bit understanding Tony Kozier, uh, Dicky Ratnagar for some reason. Uh, I could uh, easily uh, get what he was saying uh, and enjoyed listening. One of the key, one of the uh, characteristics of his commentary was he used to mention the time very often in his commentary. For instance, he would say the time here at uh, Savannah Park in Kingston, Jamaica is 10 past uh, 11 or the time here at um, the Queen's Park Oval in Trinidad uh, is 10 past three or you know, for some reason which was not something which you hear a lot of people talk about but you know just uh, interesting that you would mention the time and maybe that was necessary for uh, radio commentary uh, but Dicky, I think he passed away a few years ago there's another interesting thing about Dicky Ratnagar uh, he was probably the only person to have witnessed uh, the rare feat of uh, a batsman hitting a bowler for six sixes in an over uh, twice. He saw uh, Sir Garfield Sobers hit Malcolm Na Nash uh, for six sixes and he also saw Ravi Shastri hit six sixes of Tilak Raj in a domestic game in India. Uh, you know, very rare occurrence. He also, uh, Dicky Ratnagar also uh, wrote about squash. I think he covered, he wrote a book on uh, the great Pakistani squash players uh, Jahangir and Janshir Khan. So coming back to the test series, uh, my father and I would listen to the commentary. Uh, my father was a big cricket buff and that's where I got my interest in cricket from. Uh, we were reliant on a small Iowa pocket transistor to listen to the uh, radio commentary and in those days the way All India Radio operated was they would cover the game live till about tea time in India uh, tea time and then they would uh, uh, stop their broadcast for the day and then they would replay the last session of the day's play early in the morning at 5.30 I believe in the morning they would replay the last two hours uh, the post tea session and my father and I were so crazy we would stay and listen to the commentary uh, till uh, the time uh, AIR broadcast the game until tea time and then we would get up in the morning 5.30 to listen to the replay of the last session so that we were uh, up to speed on what happened 
Uh, my father would make a you know, cup of tea. That's where I got my addiction to tea as well. And we would listen and very, you know, uh, sometimes um, the audio quality was not good. There would be disturbances, but then listening through that. So this first test at Sabina Park, Kingston, Jamaica was a wonderful game. Um, you would not believe it uh, if you've not heard of this game before. Uh, West Indies on the final day needed about 175 uh, runs to win the game and they had I think a little more than a session to win it uh, and Viv Richards um, scored some 60 in 30 yard balls uh, and West Indies chased down 173 in about 25 overs. Now this, we're talking about an era of cricket when uh, if you scored three runs and over, it was considered fast and West Indies scored at over six and a, six runs to the over to win that game. Um, they had a formidable batting lineup. Uh, if I remember right, it was Greenwich, Haynes, Richards, Gus Logie, who made his debut in that game, Larry Gomes, Clive Lloyd, Jeffrey Dujon, followed by the four bowlers, um, Malcolm Marshall, Michael Holding, Joel Garner, and Andy Roberts. Uh, fearsome pace quartet, but wonderful game. The rest of the series was um, not as interesting or exciting. Um, I think uh, there were uh, three games that ended in a draw. The West Indies won the fourth test in Bridgetown Barbados uh, by 10 wickets. They needed one run to win the game and well, and Syed Kirmani, I believe, bowled, uh, uh, did that, uh, bowled the ball. Uh, he was the wicket keeper of that team, of the Indian team then. Uh, the last test, Gordon Greenwich, uh, I think he was batting on 154 and he had to retire uh, to attend to his dying daughter. Um, so, great series uh, overall. Now, why would I recount a game or a series from 37 years ago and why is it important? I think personally, I realize that most of my memories with my father are tied to moments like these. Uh, the memories of getting up at five in the morning and listening to or watching cricket uh, and having cups of tea. So I think while we always talk about you know, living in the present uh, and the importance of living in the present. I think life is also about moments and memories. When these moments happen, we seldom realize the significance of these mo of those moments. We understand the significance and the beauty of those very often in hindsight. And these memories become so critical for us. They become so important, so beautiful. Um, that's what I think makes life uh, really joyous, beautiful. Memories are an integral part of us. Secondly, this was the series when I started to realize when I listening to commentary and listening to names of places like Kingston, Jamaica, uh, Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, Bridgetown, Barbados and uh, Georgetown, Guyana and St. John's, Antigua, the, the five places where the matches were played, it I think opened the world out for me. I just felt like, oh, wow, there are all these exotic places out there in this world. And uh, listening over radio, I think it opened up, uh, uh, I think, a, a, a new world. I was imagining these places. I was visualizing how the 
field would be, how uh, you know uh, the crowd would be, and so on. And I think there was a sense of wonder that uh, came about. I think when we, I listened to these things with a sense of wonder, and I think as kids, having that sense of wonder, uh, that sense, that that uh, stimulation of curiosity, is really important I think and it's not just for kids of course having a sense of wonder would uh, do all of us uh, at any stage in life uh, a lot of great a lot of good but I think as kids it's even more important that, that they have that sense of uh, wonder uh, in built into their system very early in life anyway I digress coming back to the series 1983 series um, so as I said, I think India lost the series 2-0, but the important thing there was that it sowed the, seed, the seeds of a landmark event. It was that series which actually gave India or Indian creators the belief that they could beat the West Indies because in the one day series that followed I think India beat West Indies in one of the games and then they were to head off to England for the World Cup 1983 World Cup and that one game that one victory over the West Indies who were the undisputed uh, champions of world cricket uh, in those days I think gave the Indian team the belief that maybe they can defeat the West Indies uh, they did that in the first in their first game of the World Cup later and uh, Subsequently, on June 25, 1983, Kapil Dev lifted the Prudential World Cup, the balcony of Lords. It all started probably in that series in the West Indies. June 25, 1983, uh, India won the World Cup. Many years later, on a June 25, I got engaged. The dots always seem to connect somewhere. Anyway. Until next time, bye.